Hunter is recovering from a shot to the chest after a hunter mistook him for a turkey. Tonight we are asking what can be done to protect you on the trails. This happened in St. Charles County Saturday on the Lewis and Clark Trail near the Weldon Spring Conservation Area. Here's News 4's Emma Hogue. Turkey season ended yesterday, but hikers want change before the next season rolls around. Since the start of the pandemic, I'm told this trail has been busier than it's ever been, bringing about new safety concerns for people, both young and old. That's pretty alarming. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty large mistake and it's not easy to do. As a hiker and hunter, Luke Niemeyer doesn't understand how someone could confuse a human with a turkey, a rare and life-threatening mistake. As a hunter, you can get rushed and get excited, but at the same time, you need to calm down and make sure before you shoot anything that is the thing that you would want to shoot. Authorities arrived to the Lewis and Clark Trail around noon Saturday and used a utility terrain vehicle to rescue the hiker who was shot in the chest, then airlifted to an area trauma center. I would never set up off of a high, off of a trail. I was really shocked. I knew that we had signs posted that it was still turkey season. Perry Gabbard has hiked the trail since the 1980s and says in the last year, the parking lot is typically packed on weekends, some even parking along the highway. I would think that there could be options for the conservation department to decide that certain areas are just too uh, heavily used to allow for active hunting in those areas. So we asked the Missouri Department of Conservation what's being done to ensure this doesn't happen next hunting season. They say they're reviewing the incident, but don't have any immediate plans to implement safety improvements. I mean, I don't know what else you could do. You know, and a turkey is only two foot tall. A human's what, five foot? So, and there's two different sounds and it just wouldn't, it should never happen. As a hunter, Niemeyer knows the number one rule is to identify your target and what's behind it before pulling the trigger. But some say personal responsibility isn't enough. There's children and older people. I see a lot of age groups, uh, you know, over time here, and uh, it's just it just decreased the probability of it happening. Wildlife experts also urge hunters to never shoot at sound or movement. Always ensure it's another person until you get a good look at its head and beard. Reporting near Weldon Spring tonight, Emma Hogue News 4.